Hey, Range Master Larry here with Dr. Airsoft. He's behind the camera. Uh, we're with ESS. Ari here is going to help us do one of the things that Dr. Airsoft and I like to do best, which is torture lenses. Ari, tell us what's going on here. Well, this year at our booth at ESS, we have brought our V0 Military Impact booth. And we are demonstrating the difference between mil-spec eyewear, ANSI eyewear, and non-protective eyewear. Um, hopefully by seeing this demonstration, you'll understand what kind of protection you can get from an ESS product and why you would want to make sure that you're using a higher standard of protection. Yeah, so tell us what's about to happen to this lens and what kind of lens we're talking about. Okay, so the glass that we've got in the, in the uh, booth right now is not safety rated. This is just a product that may be exemplary or an example of something that you would get uh, in a drugstore, a gas station. Um, so no promise of safety rating here. We're going to be shooting it with our uh, pneumatic gun set up here. This is going to be shooting the uh, military standard projectile at it. That's a 15 caliber T37 steel projectile. It's going to be shot between 650 and about 650, uh, 660 feet per second. So you can see over there, Eric is showing us the projectile. He's going to mount that into the weapon. And uh, then we're going to load and fire see what happens to our non-safety rated eyewear here. Whenever you're ready, Eric. Yeah, I have a feeling this is not going to end well for the non-safety rated eyewear. I think... So, so we can see here... So we can see that that pellet, that projectile went immediately through this lens. It offered you absolutely no protection. Uh, at Obviously at 650 FPS, that's a pretty decent velocity, but I would warrant that a lens like this might not offer you sufficient protection even if you're just on the road riding a motorcycle, a straight piece of gravel comes at you. Uh, you really can't afford to wear eyewear that offers no level of protection. So next on the list, we'd like to use an ANSI rated product, it's sort of a nondescript ANSI rated product, but uh, it is rated to the ANSI Z87 2010 impact standard. And that's what most safety glasses you're going to find out there are rated, whether they're laboratory type safety glasses or whether they're fashion or, you know, whatever those other different kind of uh, channels that these might be sold in. So we're going to mount this guy on this head form, get that good to go, and go ahead and close up our booth again here. And yeah, yeah, do that for us, please. Latch. Yeah, don't want to have any stray pellet action going our way. So, Eric, whenever you're ready, we can uh, go with round number two. So he's loading the gun again here. You guys can get, there's actually a chronograph underneath it, so you'll be able to go around and actually see on camera there what the FPS was. Go ahead, Eric. Whoa. Okay. So, as you can see, we had, oh, go ahead, um, let's pull it out uh, in pieces, I guess. Let's pull what's left of it out. So we can see that we've had a complete failure of the frame. Uh, we can see that that lens has begun to catastrophically fail. It's begun to dimple that lens there and crack it. Any cracking is an indication of the failure of the test for the uh, military impact standard. So again, not a good outcome for this particular product uh, with that projectile and at that speed. So lastly, I'd like to show you an ESS product. This is the ESS Crosshair. It's got a mil-spec uh, ballistic impact rating like all of our products will offer you. Uh, this is particular to the spectacle rating, by the way. So any spectacle mil-spec rating is going to give you incredibly good protection, but it is actually going to be uh, a lighter duty protection than you're going to get from a goggle. So when you're using an ESS goggle, you've got a, a bit thicker uh, polycarbonate build into the lens there. The standard projectile we would use to test a goggle would actually be a 22 caliber and completely different test. We can't recreate that test here. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and show you what, we've, what we're capable of with the ballistic uh, spectacle standard here with the ESS crosshair. So once again, let's close things up. Okay, and we're going to reload. All right, we're good to go. Eric is going to light them up for us. Make it count. Eric is a dead eye. You can see he hits that lens in exactly the same place every time. It is amazing. Yeah, it is amazing what two feet of distance and a solid mount will do. Well, let's see what happened here. All right. Okay, so, well, there we go. You can see that the imprint that that chisel tip left there, it hit it on the side. It does, it's, it's intended to tumble as it, uh, as it moves, and you can see that there's no cracking. We just have a dimple on the lens right there, and 
that's the uh, that's the end result of eyewear that's going to pass that mil spec test. So we uh, we test our lenses all the time. You know, you guys have probably seen our shotgun lenses that we take out into the field and we shoot them with a 12 gauge and number six shot uh, at about 10 yards. And uh, we have a number of other people that have asked to take our lenses out in the field and torture them in all kinds of unspeakable ways. Uh, we're happy to see our products out there. You're welcome to test them. Uh, this is the standard though that they're tested to perform to. Uh, but we have seen them uh, do a lot more interesting things out there. Believe it or not, I've got an example here where somebody actually took a crossbow lens. Uh, they took the crossbow, they mounted this spectacle with its frame on it to a fence post, and they shot it with a 22 short out of a pistol. It was about 10 feet away, so point blank range, and that slug was actually caught in that lens. So. Um, you know, this is well beyond what we have actually rated this thing to and what it was intended for, but again, this just demonstrates the, uh, the capabilities of these lenses. They go above and beyond duty. Thanks, all right, and kids, don't try this at home. We've already done it here for you. This is Range Master Larry with Dr. Airsoft from SHOT Show 2013 at ESS, signing out.